If Mr. Pito B is the president of Nigeria at this moment, he will be facing the situation Bonda Tinumbu is currently facing. The question here is, how would Pito B handle this case, this issue of Nijeku, if he is the president of Nigeria at this current moment? So many people have asked, what did Pito B said about this ongoing crisis in Niger? Did he support the military intervention in Niger? Did he say they should follow diplomacy or other method? People just want to hear about what Mr. Pito B said about this Niger coup. In this video, I'm going to expose to you or I'm going to admonish to you what is to be said yesterday about this ongoing crisis in Niger. The Niger coup, it will be revealed what ECOWAS should do. These are the hints in his words. Pitobi has given ECOWAS tips on how to resolve the ongoing crisis in the landlocked Niger Republic. Obi said ECOWAS should employ diplomacy and dialogue in resolving the crisis after coup plotters took over power. ECOWAS had ordered a standby force against the military junta in the Recep Republic after the coup leader refused to reinstate the post-president Mohamed Bazoum. However, Mr. Pitobi asked them not to carry out the military action, that they should employ the diplomacy that will resolve the issue. Now, let us go to the details of what Mr. Pitobi said. The Labour Party presidential candidate, Mr. Pitobi, has revealed what the economic community of West African states ECOWAS should do regarding the ongoing crisis in Niger Republic after the military took power through a coup. Obi said the Niger is a hot button issue for ECOWAS and dialogue and diplomacy should be used in resolving the crisis, not military intervention. In a post shared via his verified Twitter handle, at P2B, he said diplomacy must remain top of the various conflict resolution options available to ECOWAS. He commended the mediatory effort of General Abdul Sandami Abubakar, His Eminence, Muhammadu Saad Abubakar, the Sultan of Sokoto, and His Royal Highness, Sanusi Namido Sanusi, in resolving the crisis. He wrote in this way, Recent development in the neighboring Niger Republic have become the subject of international attention. For Nigeria, this development is a matter of delay and urgent national interest and security. Meanwhile, I have reported earlier that the Labour Party slammed President Bonda Ahmed Tinumbu over the economic community of West African states move to restore democracy in Niger Republic after the military took over power, the post-president Mohamed Basu. The National Publicity Secretary of the party, Obiora Ifo, said President Tinumbu should face Nigeria force before thinking of restoring constitutional order in Niger. The Economic Community of West African State ECOWAS has vowed to hold Russia responsible should the private military contractor Wagner Group violate human rights following the recent coup in Niger Republic. The ECOWAS Commissioner for Political Affairs, Peace and Security, Ambassador Abdel Fattah Musa, stated this during an interview on Chinese television Sunrise Daily on Friday, August 11. President Bonda Metinumbu has been accused of using the crisis in Niger Republic as a distraction from the petitions at the presidential election petition tribunal. A former director of civil society of the All Progressive Congress APC Presidential Campaign Council, Najatu Mohammed, said this in a statement on Thursday, August 10. Former Kaduna Central Senator Sheikh Sani said the decision of the Niger, Nigerian government to cut off the electricity supply to the Niger Republic is not putting pressure on the military junta. Sani claimed that the electricity issue affects hospitals, schools, homes, and offices of the masses, not cool daughters. Glad you are still watching. At this point, I want you to believe that Tinumbu and ECOWAS has taken the wrong step at the first time. Because when an issue like this happened, this was, it was a bloodless coup that occurred in Niger. Nobody was killed. They took the power and you could see that they were some persons that were jubilating the day this could happen. So it is an indication that such a thing should not be stopped by a military intervention because they are not firing shots, they are not, fire, they are not throwing bombs. These people took the power and there is nobody that is resisting them. The people did not go to the street and begin to protest that ah, the military has taken power from our government. No, the people seem to be in support of the coup. So 
the ECOWAS and Tinumbo, they made a wrong decision. First of all, they cut off the electricity supply to the country. They begin to impoverish the people who are doing business, students who are in schools. Imagine patients who are in the hospital depending on the electricity they cut off. This is insane. I condemn also the wrong steps they have taken to start issuing trade, giving seven days of the All those things are not necessary. This is just um, administrative capacity and negotiations. What they're supposed to have done first is to call for calm. That is the first step. You call for calm when such a thing happens. You just call for calm. You now invite or visit the person that carried out the coup. When you have not given any sanction, what really happened? Why did you do this? Okay, now if the case is like this, plan a transitional government. Imagine the Burkina Faso, the president Ibrahim Traore, it was a coup that led him to become the president. But now, he's telling them to prepare for election next year. To tell you that the purpose, why these people are seizing power, is not because they want to remain in power forever. Because power is uh, intoxicating them. No. These people have purposes why they took power. Like in Burkina Faso, the country was just becoming a jihadi state. Terrorists were parading along the road and nobody could stop them. No. They couldn't bear it and they took power. And ever since then, the country, the people are rejoicing. The Burkina base are happy that, look at, our country is becoming lively again. And the man is telling you that they should get ready for election next year, a democratic election. These people should be given a thumbs up, not a thumbs down. These people don't have bad intention for their government. So I applaud Mr. Peter B's administrative intelligence. And I believe that if he is in the position as ECOWAS, um, chairman or leader. I don't think ECOWAS could have made that decision, horrible decisions, cut off electricity, sanction upon sanction, blocking of borders, etc. You continue to threaten them that you are going to uh, um, issue a military intervention. You are All those things are not necessary. In this life, there are so many things that we could have used diplomacy to stop. But such a thing resulted to a war that have consumed millions of people. And this Niger coup is one of the cases. So, Peter B have said that dialogue diplomacy is to be taken as the priority to resolving this crisis in Niger coup. So, to so many people who have been asking, what did Mr. B said in this issue? You've heard what he said, and I believe this is the position of Africa. This is the position of so many countries, so many citizens of various countries in Africa. And this is the position of every peace-loving personality in this world. Thank you so much for having time to listen to this video. See you on my next video. Thank you.